colors. I am hot from running around just now. Bringing all the luggage upstairs, getting laundry going and switched out. We are in the mist. Right, Gray, of the craziness before travel. You can see I look like a hot mess because it is gonna be a hot mess couple of days, <laughs> I feel like. No real getting ready or anything like that, but I've been working like crazy this morning, catching up with work and trying to get work in a position that it's good to be OOO out of the office, making up a whole list of things that need to get done in my absence, but yeah, cleaning everything up, just making it super good. But at the same time, trying to get the house in order, trying to start packing. We legit leave in two days. And where we're even going, I haven't even mentioned it, but we're gonna go to Argentina. It is about that time of the year, about that time that we need to go to Argentina. We try to go once a year to see Juan's family and friends. If you guys are new here, Juan is from Argentina. He moved to the US like what? I'm really bad with dates, like eight or nine, nine years ago. Huh, I think that's right. <laughs> but yeah, his family tries to come visit us here in the US once a year, and then he always tries to go down there and visit once a year. I feel like we've done it in our fall. So like September, October timeframe, it's really popular for Juan to wanna go November, December, like during the holidays, but it's been a while, like years and years since we've gone at this time. And I love going at this time because it is Argentina's summer. Well, it's starting to be at like the tail end of summer and heading into fall just like it's the tail end of winter and heading into spring for us. But the weather is still gorgeous and I am so looking forward to it. But this is our first time with two pets. I'm trying to look around to see where Gray went because Oliver just came downstairs. And Gray typically runs around and either tries to hide or tries to get Oliver's attention. Yeah, first time having two pets and we got Gray situated with a lovely couple that is going to take care of her while we're gone. And then I have my niece taking care of Oliver. So that's all good. I did a ton of errands yesterday. Wow, I understand like a full on updating you guys. Got a ton of things outside of the house that I needed to get done yesterday, like going to the ATM, last minute like package drop offs, picking up Oliver more food, Gray more food, getting a few last minute groceries and foods that we wanna take like on the plane. Woo! So wow, been crazy. I'm also gonna get a haircut tonight. It was supposed to be tomorrow, but she texted me last night that she needed to move in. I'm so glad that she's still available to do it before I head out because I just really wanted it cut before I head out into like warmer weather. I just feel like I really need it. I want to chop like a good amount off. I loved it when it was shorter, kind of like a long bob sort of a thing, like not too short. But anyways, that's like much later tonight after my therapy appointment. But work is in a good space. And as you can see, I'm starting to do laundry and pull out like tons of clothes. So that's definitely gonna be a focus today is doing lots of packing. In my true form of how I pack, I pull out like excess of things. And then I start to narrow it down from there. Like as I create outfits or think about exactly what I wanna wear, that reminds me, I wanna actually reach out to Juan's mom and ask about the weather. Like I see what the temperature is, but what does that mean? Like, are you primarily wearing shorts? and dresses, or are you primarily like wearing jeans? So I wanna ask. The last thing that I need to do outside of the house, apart from obviously getting my hair cut, is I need to go drop off donations. I've had like this huge pile of donations sitting on my first floor for the longest time. And I just desperately wanna get it out of the house, have it cleared so that way like when I come home from my vacation, it's not like, oh man, I forgot I needed to do that. Like we're just getting it done, we're getting it over with. So yesterday I packed my car completely full of donations. So I wanna run right now and complete that so my car can be empty, we can get that task checked off and then truly move on to just like wrapping up some work stuff, hacking, organizing. And you'll see my house is kind of like an organized chaos. That's how I'm gonna put it. Like it seems messy, but everything is kind of like where it's at for a reason. <laughs> at least that's what I'm telling myself. Just ran that errand to drop off all of the donations. And now I'm feeling like it is matcha time. Need a little bit more water though. There is no better feeling than just clearing your house of all the stuff, 
all the stuff. Oh, it feels so good to have that done. My car was completely full. Like I even had it going into the passenger seat. Like, oh my God. So oh, feeling pretty accomplished just by doing that. It's been back to work. I need to see how much longer work is gonna take me. Cause we need a pack. We need a pack. Baby, I'm gonna miss you. get my hair cut. We had my therapy appointment, which was really good. Wrapped up things with work. Still haven't done any packing, so that's a task that we definitely need to do. Kind of have a little bit of a headache. It's been like a stressful, hectic day, right? With trying to get everything organized and order. Felt really good. Felt like accomplished, right? But at the same time with like my therapy, it was a bit emotional today. So did a little bit of crying. And so I feel like it gave me a headache, which is unfortunate, but I took ibuprofen before my therapy because that's like when it was coming on. Anyways, I'm excited to do my hair. Like I said, I think I'm gonna chop off a couple of inches, but no color or anything. I'm still just like rocking my natural color. I honestly don't miss like highlights or how blonde I was. Now, just like looking back at the pictures and the time that I spent being blonde, I'm just like, wow, I don't feel like that suit me at all. I just like this so much more. I'm about to go into a parking garage right now. So it might get dark. Oh, bummer, as a thing. I thought that this was till 8 p.m. Let's hope that they validate. You guys, I'm back home. What happened? It's so short. Mercury is so short. It is a little bit shorter than what I um, anticipated. I think I wanted it like a little bit longer than this, but I'm here for it still. I think it's so refreshing to get like a chunk cut off, you know? And we have like a little bit of layers in it and we have the framing as well. I still wanted it like long enough where I can like put it behind my ears. So that's what we have right now. What are you doing, Gray? What are you doing? Is Oliver right there? Yes, he is. Is that your best friend? I would love to see this curled, but let's be real. This is how I would wear a majority. Not necessarily with like this little cute little, you know, tuck at the bottom. That was just because she blew it out. So let's see what it looks like tomorrow. But regardless, I think it's refreshing. It's great for the new season, especially going down to Argentina where it's hotter. It'll be nice to have this like a little bit shorter. The real challenge though is going to be what it's like with a clip. Let's see if I could do like a little test run. I feel like I have hair all over my face. Oh, okay. I think it'll work. Cute. It still goes back. It still works. Okay. It's not that short. I like it though. I like it though. I need to go downstairs because um, Juan's bothering me about dinner. He gave me a few options. So we need to figure out exactly what we want, but it's just after eight o'clock now. So it's definitely dinner time. And then I need to figure out some packing stuff a little bit before I go to bed. That is the goal. That's what we're gonna do.
morning guys it is wednesday officially now and i am in the groove of things i've had meetings i've been working but in between some of that i've also been like trying to organize my clothes some more narrow it down there's still a lot more narrowing down to go but i kind of wanted to give you an update on like where i'm at so far um yesterday i like organized all of my toiletries to this little area in my bathroom okay so this is everything that i'm gonna be bringing i might take a few things out but essentially over here is all of the cotton pads and things that i need for like my toner taking off my makeup these are the face cloths i use to wash my face essentially like to pat my face dry i have just a pouch underneath to, just in case i need that and right here we have some hair stuff so i have a travel straightener i'm trying to decide if i want to bring a curling iron or not i might not and then just some scrunchies and like hair ties and some clips and stuff that i use on a daily basis i might just bring one of these instead of two but i just can't decide what color right now i have one of my hair brushes i love using this brush for when i do like my slick back bun sun products like my face sunscreen body sunscreen and some aloe vera as well i have this mask right here because i think it would be a really nice thing to bring it's a calming hydrating mask and it might be nice to do that like one treatment like once i'm there some nail stuff because tonight i'm gonna put on some press on nails and so i'm just bringing some extra stuff and then like an extra set of nails just in case always travel with just in case tampons this is the bag i'm gonna use to throw everything inside i have toothpaste in it right now and like retainer cleaner and it looks like some band-aids and this is like my makeup mirror that i plan on using my travel toothbrush it's still like an electric toothbrush but it's just like a lot smaller so I'm excited about that my retainer case a razor and then this is all like my hair and body stuff so my dry shampoo that i use my deodorant some perfume this is my favorite perfume uh, my pomade stick for like when i do my slick back hair my body wash shampoo conditioner and then these are what is this some hair products so i have like a dream coat for when i wash my hair same with this orbe super shine light i have just like a little bit of it and this is shaving cream so that's nice and then over here is like all of my travel skincare so i'm gonna bring my trentinoin cream i've been using this for my butt you guys for like my stretch marks go watch my last vlog if you don't know what i'm talking about and i want to stick with it but um i've started using it on my face as well and i'm really liking it so we're just gonna bring it and then all of my new skincare just in like travel little bottles so we have my enzymes for exfoliating my cleanser my toner slash i use this for like as a moisturizer as well my liquid exfoliants. I love this stuff, you guys. Um, hydrating serum, can't live without it. I am bringing this like gel-based moisturizer just in case. This pigment brightening toner that I love. And then this is micellar water to take off all of my makeup. The only things that I'm missing bringing is my mandelic acid. It's over here because I'm gonna use it tonight. And then I'm gonna bring this oil still, my face moisturizer, and then like my eye cream. I know, it seems like a lot. It's probably a lot, but I truly use all that stuff on a daily basis. Like this is why I can never just like do a carry-on because of like my toiletries but i'm happy with it we're going with it let's go over to my office now and i can give you a little rundown again i'm still paring things down so i narrow down the shoes a ton like these sambas i'm gonna wear on the plane and then since i'm gonna be staying in juan's parents house i just love to have house slippers so i'm gonna bring these ones and then i'm for sure gonna bring those 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 and then i'm thinking one out of these three I will bring or maybe none of them is kind of like what I'm going with right now. I'm gonna go with these two bags, just like this crossbody one and then also this cute little one. I have two pairs of sunglasses right here. I know it looks messy, but I swear there is some organization here. This is all like my sleep stuff. I have underwear, socks, and whatever else underneath there. I have one bathing suit out. I'm thinking I might grab one more. I have groove pants right here, but I'm thinking I'm not gonna pack them. And then this is still stuff to narrow down. So these are all like cover shirts or like button downs and like a couple of jacket options. But I'm probably gonna bring like two things out of this whole pile. And this is like a casual active dress from Aloe. I really like that. I think it's gonna be great for how hot it is. But then I also have like a little bit nicer of like a 
casual dress from Reformation. I got deodorant on it, that's great. And then here's some like just loose pant options. This bottom one is a skirt though to bring, which I'm excited about. And then these are the only shorts I'm gonna bring. Well, this is a skirt which is so cute, it's linen. I got these two shorts and then one jean short. And then I'm trying to narrow this down too. So these are like capri ankle length trousers. They're really cute. And then these two pairs of jeans for at night. I'm thinking I'm gonna spend a lot of time like at the house, like chilling, you know? So then I have just like some lounge stuff over here. I'm thinking I might wear this sweatshirt on the plane, but I have like the matching sweatpants for the house underneath. So I can have like a cute set. But then I also have like some sweat shorts, three pairs pairs. I have like the soft stream and then oh it looks like an aligned short and then also like an active short. So I'm probably going to narrow this down a little bit taking a couple things out. I'm bringing this pair of short and like this top to make a matching set but then I also have these pants that can be a matching set with those so I'm trying to decide on that as well and then I have these three pants they're all the same they're the swiftly lululemon pant just in three different colors so I need to narrow that down to either one or two and then over here I have all of the tops okay now that I'm going through this this is insane but I have two like loose t-shirts for casual wear these are also for casual wear but it's like t-shirts versus like a ribbed t-shirt you know and I'm keeping it all neutral just because it's really easy to mix and match stuff and these are all of the tank tops again i'm gonna narrow this down take a couple out right now but this is where we're at and then this over here is like all nicer tops that i could wear during the day or at night so i'm really into like vest sort of situations i got these last year and i still really love them this one is new from Maritzi and i'm really excited to wear that but then just like some sweater tanks and then a couple of like tube top options this one just came in from lululemon and i really really like it so we're gonna pack that and then i'm trying to organize like right over here i'm bringing a cereal it's like a tripod and then some extra bags that i might use and then over here you guys this is all of my makeup my brushes and then my makeup is in here this is gonna go in my carry-on then i also have like miscellaneous food things, pills, supplements, whatever. Over here, my probiotics, the Armra. Um, I have things to make matcha. I have my sleep gummies in here to bring. I have a camera. I'm excited to use this. Some cash underneath. Plugs, obviously, that I'll need for Argentina. And then camera battery stuff we have there. The Airfly, you guys, this is so great for the airplane. Like, if you want to watch movies and stuff, but you don't want, like, the wire, this is Bluetooth. You just, like, plug this in to the back of the seat you know and then it connects via bluetooth to your headphones so i really like that little travel brush batteries and external drives and all of like that sort of stuff is collecting here just like all this stuff is collecting here i'm starting to charge stuff I'm trying to decide like what headphones i want to go with you guys i love the apple ones but some negatives to it one it's heavy but two like once they're dead they're dead which is really annoying like you can't use them at all versus the bose ones once they die and what i mean by die is like the noise canceling portion of it dies like they're still usable which i like but yeah so i'm trying to decide which ones to take these ones my good old trusty handy dandy ones or the airpod apple ones also have just like this style too i was thinking i could hack for like maybe around the house listening to music while laying out by the pool there's times where you don't want something over your full ear you know but you might still want to listen to some music and then i also have like a little travel fan because it's going to be hot there guys something that is missing is my kindle i love to read just like physical books but when i'm traveling i love to use a kindle just because of the space saving capabilities of it you know i'm also going to bring my ipad and then also my laptop too to make sure that i can still edit videos and stuff while i'm there you guys i need to take a deep breath <laughs> And I need to have some lunch as well. I have a meeting, I think, here in like 15 minutes. So now that it's kind of like narrowed down to this, I'm going to let it like resonate a little bit. Like, I don't know if you guys do this too, but it's like a process for me. Thought of some outfits. I tried things on. You know what I mean? I've narrowed it down. But now it's just like, okay, I'm going to sit here, look at it. And then from there, I'll be like, okay, no, not really vibing with this. I can part with this. I don't really need this sort of a thing. But yeah, that's kind of like where we're at with everything. Things are coming along.
This is so satisfying. I managed to get everything into packing cubes. This is my narrowed down list. As of now, I might still take more things out as I like think of it, but I got some like dresses and some loose pants in here. This one is all shirts. So I have like nice shirts for at night, day shirts, more casual shirts, loose t-shirts, just all of the shirts are there. This one is all shorts and skirts, skorts sort of a thing. This one's a combination of some jeans, sweatpants, pants, and then my pajamas are in that one as well. This one is all of like my socks, my underwear, my bathing suit, my bralettes. And then this one is some over shirts, like some button down t-shirts. I have a jacket in here, a very lightweight one. And then three more pairs of shorts right there. Now I'm ready to play a little game of Tetris here. <laughs> By the way, I ended up having to replace my away luggage, my big suitcase like this, because the seams around the side was like coming apart. So it was making like this whole thing come apart. And I have to say that their customer service was absolute incredible. I had that suitcase for over four years. Yeah, it ended up being like that when I got back from Vietnam in my Japan trip. And I reached out to them like a month ago. I sent them an email with pictures and like no questions asked. They ended up just like replacing it completely for free. So this is the first time I'm using this replacement one, but I'm just like so impressed with that customer service, like that was insane. So I'm very happy. Can I stack? I might be able to. I could put it over here on this side, but I want to wait to put some of like my toiletries and stuff on this side. I mean, let me for sure put in like the shoes that I know I'm gonna take. Like my little slippers, flippy floppies, some slides, some chunkier slides, and then my Lululemon slides. This will all end up staying like this once I fill in the rest. I'm just gonna throw this stuff in here for now. The two purses that I want to bring and my sunglasses so that I can figure this out later. I think I'm actually gonna put my sunglasses in there for now. Let's pull out the carry-on suitcase here. By the way, another handy little travel tip. Travel with air tags. They make a world of a difference. I just kind of throw them in each of my suitcases. I need to grab which one. I mean, I have one right here. I don't know what the label of it is, but there. I do like to put like some clothes in my carry-on, kind of like a day's worth of clothes in a sense. But primarily I love to use it for putting like my heavier items in here. So a pair of jeans right here. I do have one pair of jeans still in this one. So if I weigh it, which by the way, I have like a, a scale thing that I can use. If I weigh it and it's too heavy, I'll end up taking it out. I also have like this really cute cropped jean jacket shirt in a sense. I really wanna bring it right there and then I have a pair of pajamas that I'm gonna throw in a couple of shirts either some really nice ones or like a couple of tops that are like a heavier knit and as you can see there's still plenty of room on this side which is nice I'll need this in the morning this is my makeup all of my makeup fits in here with some room to spare too so I'm thinking about putting like my face wash and like a moisturizer just throwing that in here as well and I do have like an empty ziploc bag like a quart size bag at the bottom of this just in case they make me put my liquids in like one of those I forget how I pack it if it's like this I think it doesn't end up squishing it at all and we'll just like pack my brushes with it and then I'll sort out the rest here. If I need, like I can throw like a pair of shoes in here, which I probably should do. I'll grab these ones because they're the heaviest out of all of them. We dropped Gray off at where she's going to be staying. Oh, let me sit here for a second. Oh, and we had dinner. We had McDonald's, guys. Just something quick and easy because we needed to finish packing, but I got all Amazon stuff done. I just weighed my suitcase and it's 44 pounds. So I'm like, wow. I'm good. I feel like I'm done at this point. So I'm like, let's start getting ready for bed. I'm gonna take off my makeup, wash my face, brush my teeth. I'm gonna do a good cleaning of my 
aligners before we leave but i have like all of my toiletries all packed up apart from like some skincare that i'm obviously gonna have to use in the morning but yeah i'm so excited for this trip i don't even think i mentioned but we're gonna be gone for two weeks so that's why we're packing so much and juan always like brings an extra suitcase filled with things that his family has like ordered and has delivered to um our house so there's gonna be like an empty suitcase but i think even with that i'm still going to do like a carry-on so i'm just thinking that there's some things that i still want to like have on me okay so this is my aligner cleaner i always get questions about this weirdly enough um every single time that i use it it is called a dental pod it's incredible i put like um a tablet in here you don't have to use anything in it and it's pretty good at just like self-cleaning but if you want like an extra like little boost i always use these retainer bright things the little retainer cleaners you get them off of amazon oh can you see <laughs> and it runs for um five minutes and it makes your liners look like new it's honestly incredible so i'm actually gonna run it twice just to like get a really good deep clean Oof, i got um all of the toiletries figured out this is my first time using this little cutie and oh my god you guys this holds literally everything it's quite big and impressive <laughs> that's what she said i was between that one and then like the normal vanity case i have the smaller vanity case for my makeup but i'm not a huge fan of like the flip up thing and like trying to get things to stand and organize better and i don't want to get one of the organizer sleeve things for it so i really like that and it actually holds more than the vanity case would so um yeah let's do our skincare because i really want to put on some new press on nails i made this set and i wanted to do like a light pink little pretty moment and i'm gonna pack like the glue a nail filer so yeah let's do the skincare now today was such a hectic day insane sorry the aligner cleaner is probably really loud and in your ear it is always so crazy right before you're about to leave for a trip i cannot make it look cute or aesthetic like this is just real life you're running around with your head cut off trying to get things like organized right before you're leaving you ready for packing loading it all up in your suitcase babe i put um sunscreen in your toiletry bag you there what is your guys' thoughts on wearing makeup on long flights? Sometimes I feel like I want to wear something because I want to like look alive, but I also don't want it on for like that long. So I feel like I usually only do like my eyebrows, oh, mascara, and then maybe like a little bit of spot concealer. And maybe that's all I'll do. It's like, including layover, it's like a 17. 17 hour flight or is it 20 hours including layover something between 17 and 20 hours but it's long babe did you hear me that i put the sunscreen in your toiletry bag and then i put um some aloe vera as well but i thought that you would have liked that because you sometimes use that as your moisturizer you good with that <laughs> i've moved on to putting on my press on nails it's like kind of a cool feeling that i like made these myself I do like this back and forth motion until I get to my thumb and my pointer finger just to make it like easy to get them on. Hold, hold, hold. But it's, yeah, it's a really pretty pink color. I need to file the tips of them a bit. Has like some extra like nail polish or something coming off the tip. Pointer fingers left. Which one do I want to do first? Ah! I really like the length of these, babe. They're a lot shorter than my last ones. Do you like it or you don't? I like it. So let's see how these do. Pretty in a light, light pink. Helping one pack everything up. Put it in to some packing cubes. Hopefully my nails are dry enough or they're not gonna pop off while I'm doing this. One done. Okay, for your shirts, babe, what's the split? Juan wants to narrow down his oh shirts God. over here. You have one, two, three, four, fifteen. So you don't want to narrow it down? I mean, close to two per day. One during the day, one during the night. 
Yeah. And I'm, babe, if you have space for it, just do it, you know? All of these shirts I've purchased for him. Don't you guys sometimes feel like your husband, partner, significant other would be like lost fashion wise without you? <laughs> it's funny to like think that I truly do all of his shopping. I always try to get him to like branch out and like try new styles or whatever it may be, but he knows his style and he doesn't necessarily want to like diverge from it too much. Like he will experiment and stuff, but I respect that. Look at that, <gasps> Look at that babe. <laughs> Why did you pack the other side like that? Do you only have one pair of shoes? Experts. How much do you think it weighs? Put our guess in. 45 pounds. Yeah. Do you think it weighs as much as mine, really? Yours is usually a lot lighter. Yeah, there's a lot of gifts in there. Like this whole suitcase is full of gifts or things that his parents bought and got shipped to our house that we're gonna bring back. Uh, 20 kilograms. 20 kilograms? What is that in pounds? 44.48. Ah, oh, I said 45 on the nose. We're good. And you said that that one's like 25 pounds? We're set. I think we're just gonna wrap up this right now. And then do you wanna still try to watch the latest episode of Shogun, babe? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do that and then go to sleep. See you in the morning. Good morning, good morning. We are ready to go. Just really need some chopstick. Got all the luggage, my suitcase, Juan's suitcase, Juan's second suitcase, and then my carry-on. And then I'm just gonna have this backpack, putting this in here to make sure I have it this morning. And we gotta go. Do you want some chopstick, babe? Do you already have some? I uh, should. You guys know the Argentina vlogs are coming, so subscribe so you don't miss out on it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in Argentina. Mm -hmm. Mwah.